Many people held one of these candles to honor and remember those veterans that returned home from the Vietnam War, but later died from the complications. We ask your blessing. Heads bowed and candles lit. People who we honor and in memory came back and had some type of life here and has now died from their wounds or from Agent Orange and were able to honor them in a different way. To talk to a mother or a sister or a brother who is here and able to honor their family member, it, it, the words are inconceivable. Many people also came to pay their respects to those whose names are on the wall. But the part that really hurts me most is on this wall that we have here. There's five people, five guys that I either flew with or they instructed me. My father's name is on panel 40W, line 51. So Kenneth Stonebreaker and William Stroven. He went missing in action on October 28th of 1968. Cindy Stonebreaker Reed's father has been missing for 55 years. I had just turned six, 10 days before my dad went missing. She will never forget the first time she saw the wall. It was the first time that I knew anybody still cared and that my dad hadn't been forgotten. Every time I can get to a wall, I go because I have nowhere else that I can go to visit my dad. The rescue helicopter. Tim Walensky was a pilot and helped to evacuate troops. Pretty harrowing things that were going on while we were trying to do our regular mission. And so I made three trips and uh, brought out about uh, 210, 211 people. I get to see all these names that I never knew that died in the war. The events will continue here on Saturday. There will be a Veterans Day ceremony at 11 and then a parade at 4. In Spartanburg County, Alessandra Young, 7 News. And on Sunday morning at 9 o'clock, there will be a reading of hometown heroes' names. The memorial will be disassembled starting at 2.